coming. labor points to gather, mine, craft, and perform other vocational activities. The more Marion spoke of Lucius, which she did often, crediting him with the carnage you saw, the more memories seemed to fill your head. It was clear they were Iana's. She apparently used her family's wealth to run a soup kitchen for the city's poor. You saw the smiling vagrant begging for food from the soup kitchen every day and heard Iana eventually chastise him for being able-bodied, but relying on charity. With a laugh, he handed her two tickets to a play in a local theater. As more memories flashed, you shared Iana's realization that this man was Lucius Quinto, a famous playwright. Could this be Marion's Lucius? What kind of playwright could commit such carnage? especially one who seems so charming. Some quests will give you a free mount to raise.
skills window. Click the skills icon in the menu bar. The Blood Hands had been a frequent topic of conversation in Souls Reed for years. They were known as a secretive association of assassins, with dealings at all levels of society. The group's motives were shrouded in mystery. But rumors spoke of religious fanaticism and a plot to rule the Crescent Throne. Blamed for a spate of kidnappings, they became the region's boogeymen. A reason for children to fear the dark and for parents to secure their homes at nightfall. Of course, these everyday phobias belied the true horror of the organization. They had allegedly assassinated the last king and had grown very dangerous and powerful. You wondered if they'd had any historical precedent in Iana's time. However, her memories held no mention of these dark assassins or their trademark crimson gloves. Chat with party members by typing slash p or slash party in the chat window. Type slash s or slash say to return to regular local chat.
Ferries can carry you across a river or even the ocean. NPC to receive a ferry. When you visited the stern looking general, your rune burned with new memories. You saw guards in similar armor posted around Iana's house. As she shyly showed Lucius the home, half apologizing for its extravagance. The guards glared suspiciously. Though a well received playwright, Lucius was still a commoner. In another memory, her father sternly reminded her that she was expected to marry within her rank. Yet another, Iana and Lucius agreed to meet again in secret. She said she knew that being famous, he was surrounded by many women, and might not want the hassle of dating a noble's daughter. But just in case, she'd bought a ring to symbolize their love. Lucius put it on and kissed her. <laughs>